Good day and welcome back to Coach Creek. Today we're going to do part one in our shot selection series. Today's video we're going to be covering the difference between a pull shot and a cut slash back foot punch. You're going to need something to mark a line on the pitch. For this we chose cheap masking tape, you can get it at any hardware store. You're going to take the masking tape or whatever you chose and start it on a four, four and a half or fifth stump line depending on what the range of the batsman for his pull shot is. You're going to pull the masking tape straight down the pitch towards where the bowler or thrower would start. Anything outside off of the masking tape, the batsman's going to look to cut or back foot punch if it's a bit closer to the line. Anything on the right hand side or on the leg side of the masking tape, the batsman's going to look to rock back and pull it. Through this drill, look to actively play the shot so you can build confidence on it. Please note if you've got any issues with these shots, I will link all three of the videos we've done previously on the cut, back foot punch and pull shot in the description below. We're going to split this drill into three progressions. Our first progression would be the coach throwing underarms at the batsman. So the coach is going to go a couple of steps back, go on the knee and then throw from a low to high position. This replicates the angle that the ball would come from the pitch. We start off with underarms because the reaction time is pretty high. Also the ball is coming nice and slow so the batsman's got enough time to make his decision between the cut, back to punch and pull shot. Underarms also help you because it's a controlled environment to play your shot as close to perfection as possible. At this point in the video, I'd like to remind you all to leave us a like if you enjoyed the video thus far. It really does help us out a lot. And consider subscribing our channel so you can see all the content as it releases. The second progression would be the coach taking a couple of steps further back and we're going to transition to slow overarms. The slow overarms adds a bit more momentum to the ball. It helps the batsman see the ball from the hand to where it bounces all the way to him. It also adds a bit of more momentum on the ball which means it hits the bat a bit harder and it's closer to a replication of a match situation. With the slow overarms we reduce our reaction time a little bit more and we give the batsman less time to think about how the shot should be played and the decision between the shots. Because of the slow nature of the overarms, it is still a very controlled environment. Our last progression would be now going to full pace overarms. With this, obviously you reduce the reaction time a lot more. Batsman has less time to think about what they can do and how the shot should be played. This is as close as replication to a match situation can get without facing bowlers in the net. Here the momentum on the ball makes it hit the bat a lot harder, so any slight faults would be amplified. If you are struggling to throw quick enough, take a couple of steps forward and reduce the reaction time that way. Or use a peripheral like a sidearm. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, consider leaving us a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can see all the content as it releases. Share it with your friends and leave us a comment stating what you'd like to see in the future. What you enjoyed about this video or if you've got any questions in general.